in the second degree manslaughter case against Robert Bates. Now, Bates is the former Tulsa County Reserve deputy who shot and killed an unarmed suspect. This happened last April. Two Works View anchor Max Resnick joins us now live from the Tulsa County Courthouse with more on the motion to delay the trial. Good morning, Max. Tonight, good morning. Judge Bill Musman just denied that motion, a motion filed by the state yesterday, one week before this trial is scheduled to begin. Robert Bates came in with his defense team to the courthouse around 930 this morning to take part in what will be his final pretrial hearing. The state contended it did not have enough time before trial to pour over nearly 2,500 pages of documents provided by Bates' defense on April 8th. Prosecutors claim they prepared for three months for the second degree manslaughter case, but it wasn't until 11 days ago that they learned the defense would attack the cause of Eric Harris's death. Judge Mussman disagreed, saying the cause of Harris's death has been widely discussed even in the media since it occurred. As for the document dumped by the defense, there was nothing illegal about it. Judge Mussman said the discovery process played out the way it should, and he's worked to manage it and not control it. Judge Mussman says time could be carved out for the state to meet with the defense's expert witnesses during the trial, but when and how that would occur is still up in the air for now. So as for now, the trial is scheduled to begin on Monday, April 18th. In the meantime, the judge is still pouring over over two more motions filed uh, this week by the state. We should have those decisions and bring those to you in the next 30 minutes. For now, live downtown, Max Resnick, two works for you.